In this presentation, we're going to discuss the opcsystems.net communications, which uses the Windows Communication Foundation networking to connect all of its product features to the OPC system service. We'll also see how to adjust the TCP port number that the WCF communications is using, and also how to connect to legacy applications that are still using .NET remoting. We can see with opcsystems.net that all .NET components support WCF communications. This would include dashboard applications, web applications for your smartphone, HMI applications that are scalable, alarm systems, and also trend windows. They all support WCF communications both for your wide area network, local area network, and the internet. We also support Windows service to service communications for like remote data logging, remote configuration. That's also implemented with WCF. There's also a free programmatic interface that's demonstrated in the WinForm example code that's installed with the software. If you would like to know how to implement remote communications with each of the product features, visit the website opcsystems.com and go to the training page. Near the bottom, you'll find a remote networking video section, and you want to view the video on networking. That will show you the syntax on how to define your HMI, trend, alarm, programmatic data access, and the programmatic configuration. Let's use the Configure OPC Systems application so we can see how to adjust the WCF port number that's used, and also how to implement additional certificate security for WCF. Using the Configure OPC Systems application, select Configure Options. Select the local service. Under the networking section, you'll see a WCF port number. That is the port number that all clients will use in connecting to the service. If you would like this service to connect to other services, you can also define the client WCF port number that it uses to connect to other services. If you would like to implement an additional level of security that implements certificates, check the property that says Additional Security Secure Communications. If you have legacy client applications existing in the field and need to continue to support .NET Remoting, you can enable the property called Enable .NET Remoting Classic Networking. Once you have updated all of your client applications, you can then go and unselect this option and put it back to just WCF only. WCF is always enabled for all clients and services. When this service is connecting to another classic service, you would need to select the Enable Client .NET Remoting Classic Networking. Now let's see how to set up some of the .NET applications for changing the WCF port number and also how to connect to legacy services with the newer controls. I'll use Visual Studio 2010 to demonstrate this in some of the WinForm and WPF controls. One thing to note, in the service, when you are enabling the additional level of security with certificate authentication, you, there is nothing that you need to do on the client side. Each client will automatically connect with the proper authentication. Let's create a WinForm application to see how we would define the WinForm application controls. We would set the target framework to 3.5 or 4.0. For the HMI controls that are for WPF and WinForm, you have the network nodes control. For WPF, it's called the OPC WPF network nodes or OPC WPF dashboard network nodes. And here we have the OPC controls network nodes for the WinForm version. If we take a look at this component, we see that we have a new property here called WCF port number. That is the port number that you would define just once in the application to connect to remote services. We also have Enable Remoting to enable Classic.NET Remoting to Classic services that have not yet been updated. For the Trend and Alarm Controls, the properties for the WCF port number and Enable Classic Remoting is directly on the controls. So if we go to the properties of each of the controls, we will see that there is a WCF port number and also Enable Remoting. Again, you would only use Enable Remoting for the classic services that are not updated to the latest WCF communications. For web applications, all of the web controls are defined just within the web.config file of your web application. Let's take a look at the OPC Web Example application that's installed with the OPC Systems.net product. In this directory, we have a web.config file. 
And if we open it, we see in the App Settings section, we have two keys that we can add. These again are optional, only if you need to adjust the WCF port number or connect to legacy services. We have the OPC Systems Remoting key and the OPC Systems WCF port number. In your web.config file, if you put these application settings exactly as they are, and then specify either a true or false for your remoting, and then the port number that you want to connect to. If you leave these out of your web.config file, it will use the defaults of just using WCF with the port number 58724. If you're using the product feature OPC Client.net, the OPC Systems.net OPC server will use the configuration setting files found in the file dansrv.exe.config. Let's open that file and we see we have enable remoting and WCF port number there also. If you change these settings it will be important that you restart the OPC Systems.net OPC server. If you're using the OPC Systems component to programmatically define your configurations from a .NET application, there is also the WCF port number property on the OPC Systems component. Let's take a look at the WinForm example code. If we look at the module, module network node, we see that we have the OPC systems component there. This is used in a lot of the other forms. And we can see that it has an additional property, WCF port number, and also enable remoting. And if you're using the configure application to connect to a remote service, you have the option to adjust the port number and also to connect to classic services right in each of the configure windows. When you first bring up a configure window, for example configure tags, over to the right you will see a WCF port number that you can adjust and also a classic .NET remoting option that you can enable when connecting to a remote legacy service. If you have any further questions about networking OPC Systems.NET products, visit the website opcsystems.com and select contact us. There you will find our phone number at 303-679-0898 and also our email address at support at opcsystems.com.